Hey everyone, how's it going today? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we are the beautiful and the bearded. The beautiful. The bearded. I'm Christina. I'm Landon. Two seconds before this video, I just have to point out that Landon comes into the shop and he's like super distracted. And so I was like, you get ready. I need a minute. So. Accurate representation. <laughs> Should okay. I show them what I was working on? Oh, I guess so. I guess so. Go ahead. Why not start it off? I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. And hey, while you're doing that, I don't know if you see our lovely decor. This is our old poinsettia and our old, old beautiful greenery Thing. that's going out to the dump or to the compost pile. And on the way there, I thought, let's make a video. Let's put them in as they go to their way to live one last life. One last life. One last life. This is what I was working on. Uh, one of the, it's a little hint. We got into some new craft over the holiday. And um, so this is, a, I don't know, a riving knife or something. Something, he's sharpening it. It's for leather working. Came in. He had a box of things to put away, but he stopped everything to sharpen. But look how sharp it is. You it's better show sharp that. enough to shave with. Let me show you up close. <laughs> I won't show you the shaving Please process. Please don't cut yourself, babe. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Ooh, it's so sharp. And then it, let's oh, see. Oh, you gotta tap it into focus, tap it into let's focus. See. Oh yeah, you can see that bad boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. If you can shave your arm with it, Can you do it on camera? Wood. Do it on camera so that. No, people don't want to see that. Let's do it anyways, you like can cut it out. <laughs> people don't want to see you shave Okay, I got a hairy arm, so that's a good thing. So. Oh, my darling. Oh, oh God, I can see the hair fly. Fly. Anyway, are you curious what Lennon looks like without a beard? Yeah. Should we show them? Huh? Take a look here. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Of course we are. Okay, so the reason for this video is to apologize for the lack of video that we've had in the last couple weeks. We were making my brother an arcade machine for Christmas. And obviously with the regulations, we weren't able to see anybody for Christmas. It was just Landon and I mm -hmm. loving our lives. And um, it was sad, but it was good. It was really good, actually. We, really good. we had a nice quiet time. And of course we would have preferred to see our family and friends, but yeah. c'est la vie. So with that being said, we had promised you an arcade video. We are done the arcade, but we do not have a video yet because it is a lot of work. Landon put in hours and hours and hours, and he was so good and took so much video and, um, Time gotta, lapses and pictures and all sorts of fun stuff to try to describe it to you. And I've got to edit it. So that's going to be a little bit. So we thought instead we would give you a, should we, we've been watching a lot of the Try Guys lately and they like sing things. So in my head, I'm like, we should be like, Shh, this is our everything we did in the holidays, holidays. video. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to do that. They do harmony and stuff. We try. One day we'll sing for you, maybe. It'll be Johnny Cash if we do. <laughs> oh, he's really good. Anyways, I digress. Shall we get What in? have we been up to? That's the question. What did we get up to over the holidays? What kind of crafts? What kind of projects? What did we do other than the arcade? Machine. First of all. Machine. Should we talk arcade about Christmas? Machine. Lana baked a cake. Well, it was also Christina's birthday on Christmas Day. So traditionally, she gets cake on her birthday. And it was Weird. a test. I was like, I can take care of my own birthday cake. And she's a vegan. <laughs> so he made it from scratch. He made her like a chocolate vegan cake and it was so delicious. We ate it way past its expiry date, I think. No, it was really good. But I think what really held it together was all the butter. The fake butter. Vegan butter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> I watched him, half watched him make it. Um, uh, besides projects during the holidays, I got up to some yoga. I did some really great classes. I um, read four four books i think over the holidays yeah, i'll i'll show them here they were really good the witches of new york took a little bit to get into but really good i highly recommend kelly armstrong if you are a big reader which i know a lot of us creative folks are um jessica renwick actually she is a gal from red red deer i read her little um book for tweens i can't remember what that it's called neat. right now you liked that. i you love that it. book it was such a good book it was such a great i bought it for my um, a couple little gals in my life and it was adorable. It was so good, motivating for the young girl and yeah. um, I highly recommend her. She just came out with a new novella and it is absolutely free so if you subscribe. Novella? So novella, novella. I don't know what that is. Novella, it's like a little mini book. I, cool. She, she explained it. Right. Um, but she's great. Check her out on Instagram if you can. And, what was her uh, name again, sorry? Jessica Renwick. 
Boom. She's lovely. The Haunting of Lavender Lane is what the book was. It was so cute. And where did you get it? I got it at May with Love and Red Deer. Yeah. Check it out. It's where our trees were at, and they are no longer there because, well, the holidays are over, and we sold every one of them except for yeah. two. And we kept one, gave one away. On that note, though, we had some great feedback from a lot of folks that they might just keep those trees up all year. Yeah, the ones that don't have the Christmas stuff on. So, with that being said, do you more. want us to make basic trees that you can have up year round that are just stained different types of wood or? different finishes like that without any Christmas decorations. Let yeah. us know. We're probably going to do it anyways, and then you can buy them and save them for next Christmas. They, they were a lot sell. of fun to make. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what did you get up to on the holidays besides this? I had a lot of shop time, you know. No zealous. Tell us what you did besides this. Oh, yeah. I got into... <laughs> I was playing the video games. Not a huge gamer. We used to play a lot of games as kids, you know, on the like N64 and uh, the GoldenEye. Remember those days? Yeah. And uh, anyways, I got a Google Stadia because it came in the mail. <laughs> so I played Is it. Is it for free? <laughs> That's what he told me. Is it for free? Somebody tell me. <laughs> Tony, you fill her in. It's no spent. Yeah. Okay. It, it was, uh, anyways, it was a lot of fun. I played some Sniper Elite 4. Great game. The whole game. Yeah, I played the game. I mean, it's, I beat the levels, but there's many more levels of hardness to the levels lots of anyways lots of gaming not a lot but you know more than usual and lots and lots and lots of shop time so let's get into the shop time here yep what did we do first things first we finished the arcade machine which yep. um we've been playing and checking it out and let me tell you i'm carrying him in all the games that's fine yep, um that's right. maybe a sneak peek no we should wait and have like a big reveal too late yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We know um, what's happening there. So then, for Christmas, you got a couple cool gifts from myself. I did. And including some, like, sharp knives. Should we go into that first? Or, like, you tell me. You tell me, baby. Uh, yeah, why don't we get into this, these lovely spoons first? Did you notice that you're not as much of, like, a fool around kind of guy when you're in the shop? When you're I don't. <laughs> There's times to play around. There's times not to. Oh, and this is the time. Safety first, everyone. Safety first. Yeah. Okay. In fact, we should have our eyeglasses on right now. Well, there's no tools running. <laughs> I didn't have a knife, <laughs> to be fair. Okay, should we start with what, the, the spoons? Yeah, I think we gave you a heads up on the spoons already. Maybe you've seen a picture or two, uh, but we got into it a little bit more. Mine are, you know, I'd say a little bit more rustic than Christina's. Are these the two we started with? Yes. So, originally Landon broke my wooden spoon. Let me take them around stirring, the camera. And, um... I was like, I need a new wooden spoon. And we had an old cutting board here. And I was like, well, it'd be neat if we could start making them. Mostly Landon is what I thought. And then we could sell them um, in sets of three because I think homemade things are just so cute and so nostalgic. And so oh. <laughs> he went into the shop and made these. And then during the holidays, we got a new hook knife. Yeah, hook knife. Let me call it a hook knife. Yeah. Do you want to show them? Yeah, let's show you. Okay. We'll get into this in a second. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. And Landon was using it, and he's like, oh, yeah, this is cool. Blah, 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 blah. What a technique. And I was like, oh, can I try that? And so I tried it, like, once, twice, and I was like, oh, it's really hard to do. And then I was like, and three hours later, or f it was actually. Totally addicted, right off the bat. Totally yeah. addictive. This is so meditative. I highly recommend. Uh, five hours later, I think it was. Anyways, I was making this beautiful spoon, and then I broke through the middle, and then instead of salvaging it, I decided to make it a risotto spoon very trendy very trendy very trendy but what they say so we had a couple different ideas that you can measure pasta inside of it yeah thanks Stu, for that one thank you Stu. yeah um or they say that these are great spoons for pasta because it doesn't break the noodles when you're stirring it. it's a little bit more gentle on it and then from there we just went wild so Hog then wild oh wait these are all mine <laughs> then i made this one uh again quite rough but it's displaying my new signature cut on the handle let me give you a close-up of that too okay but i've used this and i don't love it because it does hit your hand so we'll have to he might have to re let us know what you think about that i like to hold my spoon at the end for whatever reason when i'm stirring something tall but we might revisit we might not but he and when we watch these woodworking videos people love the rough look i'm all about the smooth look should we put these a little bit closer so you can see well, i was going to show them my new paper too. oh yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah um so then we got here, you show them. So then I wanted to make spatulas. So these two are my new set, and these two are ones that I made just for just for fun, just for ourselves. 
So what are these two? Uh, that'll be one of the first sets that I offer, and it'll also include probably a bigger version of a round guy, like the little guy you have there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then? So it'll probably be like guy. a little, but a bigger version of that to match the set. That's a great little I love spoon. It. I love it's it. It's so cute. And then? This is just a mini spatula because I broke the handle. We got new cherry wood, and it was uh, really hard to carve. Oh. Yeah, lesson learned. Lesson it was learned. quite dry. But, yeah, you know, you don't carve green. dry wood for that reason. We're going to be really good at green wood. I've never done it. And then this is a walnut spoon that I'm working on now. So that's another signature look of his. I like that one better. What do you think? That's you, babe. That's I like it a lot. I mean, but I made it, so. <laughs> okay. Those are the spoons. That so, was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Let's show them the paper quick so that I can get this out of the way. Yeah. Um, just because in the new year, I think we're going to make some serving trays, some cake stands, some just a bunch of like rando stuff that mm -hmm. we really want to make, picture frames. And we're going to get into more custom work. So if you've got anything that you want us to make, um, shoot us a message because we're pretty good at... Um, we're pretty good at answering that. But anyway, this yeah. is some pretty paper that we bought the other day. Ooh, can you Ooh, see it? Ah. Ooh, yeah, like that. It's got like gold, and I thought that'd be really cool on a serving tray. And then I just got some pretty, pretty stuff too, because I want some antique serving trays to make. Surprise. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Oh. Oh, yeah. To aid Christina with the carving, she had uh, picked up some anti cut gloves. As we've been saying here, I've been actually peeling the skin off one of my old cuts from covering the spoons. So, yeah, uh, no cut gloves. We'll give you a full review on these. They're called no cry gloves. And uh, if they work well, we'll let you know. If you're a carver. Safety you want, first. You go. Safety you go, first. babe. I've been talking so much. I'm also working on this salt and pepper. Custom order. Custom order for a lovely woman named Diane. And this is one of those things that you're going to pinch salt and pepper out of as you're cooking. And you can just swing it open. Swing it closed. It lives on your countertop. It looks beautiful. This one's made out of some exotic wood, the name of which escapes me, but it's very nice. You can see that cool kind of tiger. Actually, this might be some sort of tiger wood. I'm not sure. I might find out. We might tell you. We might not. We might not. But here's the thing is we got more of this wood left, and so we're going to make the rest of it into pinchers. So we'll probably sell those on an online store. One day we'll have our website launched. Pincher. Pincher. It's a salt and pepper pincher. Pincher. Show them how it's done. So that's if you're making a, a dish. If you're yeah, making a dish. Just take a pinch and I would throw it in there. That's it. Very good. What happens if you spill salt? Yeah. Throw it over your shoulder. That's good. And then, uh, yeah, leather working. Can this I get into this? Easy. Yeah, you yeah. can. We've been waiting for so this. So we got, as Christina mentioned, we got some tools for the spoon carving. And I, I purchased a pouch like this um, from Lee Valley. A while back to hold my chisels and I love it and we started to collect some of these carving tools and they were just sitting on the bench all on the bench willy-nilly willy-nilly and of course they're all razor sharp so that's not a smart idea so I kept looking at it and looking at it and I was like I have this leather sticking around already I had it and because you have a pouch it... that you had from before from somewhere else oh yeah that you put stuff in that's what I already said Oh. Who listens to who? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, anyways, so I had the leather sticking around. I, again, I bought that at Lee Valley Tools as well because it's good to like glue, glue to stuff to, you know, anti slip and you can make stuff with it. I made this. That's the whole idea. I made this pouch. Custom so let me come sized show you. slots. Custom slots for each and every wood carving tool that we currently oh, own. so cute. You gotta do that. Riveted and stitched in two different accenting colors. And this is a nice suede material, very supple. Supple is important. Yeah. And uh, you know, it has a tie here to keep it closed as well as a snap. So I just love it. Anyways, so we share, share that with you. That, that was pretty fun. He hasn't stopped since. So now not only has he made that, but he's made a lot of the casings for the top. Do you have one of those in there? I do, but let me show you another one. Ooh. But wait, there's Christina more. also bought me for Christmas a marking knife. <laughs> and this I'm real good at gifts. <laughs> is the marking knife. Let me come show you. And you can see it's just a flat piece of steel that has two bevels cut on it and it's flush. So when you're marking wood, you can put that right up against your ruler, make a mark, and there's no offset and it's hey, very accurate. Pretend that you're cutting me, ready? So 
<laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that sitting in your pocket doesn't work very well. Very sharp. So I made this little guy and it just slips in there. Soup. Boom. And now I can have that on the desk or on the workbench or even in my pocket because it's not going anywhere. And it's great. <laughs> and then one more thing. Oh, and then. Honestly, I basically lost my boyfriend through Christmas gifts. So she also wisely. bought me she's this. Wisely, ladies. Well, look, she bought me these things, so they have to be protected. Yeah. This is a scraper. It has a little screw on the end, and you can put little oh. blades on it. But again, it was rolling around in the bench. So I built this little guy. And the little pocket. Little snap there. This is the tool. Let me pull it out. It works better. This is the tool here. Allen key. And then if I give her a little shake, there's a little blade that goes on the end of it. It's Very handy. Cool. So anyways, that's not rolling around anymore. It's a tool that I'll have for the rest of my life. So why not spend some time to protect it, you know? Yeah. And now we can do leather work. So if we got a project for leather work, oh, look at this. He's literally obsessed. So yeah. again, I've been obsessed with the Try Guys. So I like to watch uh, Keith Eats Everything. <laughs> on YouTube at night and he does leather work and his hands have been quite they sore. Get sore. So I know that we have a lot of followers that are knitting enthusiasts or people who are really crafty and do a lot of work with your hands. So if you- Do your wrist get sore? Yeah, do your wrist get sore? Because he's, we got some Lakota cream and um, I've used, what have I used on my hands when they Voltaren. get sore? Voltaren. Voltaren. Um, what's the best that you found? Cause we would love, if you've got one that you sell one that you would appreciate that. yeah that would be really awesome if you shot us a message because these hands are sore <laughs> yeah and we That's love doing crafts and we don't want to be held back by sore hands no and in the night when you wake up and you're like my hands numb mm -hmm. i don't think that's good yeah a uh, couple what things. did we use to finish those spoons i see you're grabbing oh, yes. for her already we might as well Segway. Segway. is this a singing break ready no that was just like me going Segway. Segway. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, these are our favorites. We got a couple mineral oils, different kinds, because I wanted to see which ones were best. Honestly, we got some of the ones that like smell like stuff, and they just don't, I don't think they work as well. I just don't think they give as rich of a color when you use them. No. So um, this JK Adams mineral oil wood conditioner has been great. Again, if you've got any other suggestions, we would love to hear about them, but uh, that's been really great so far. And then we picked this up at Windsor Plywood. Yep. Uh, butcher block conditioner it is just a uh, food grade mineral oil and natural waxes and i've been using that kind of on the top and it's been really 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 great really great as you can see they're all still drying because i'm obsessed with waxing them uh, one more thing you did okay wait you no, want to no, no, share no. these hold on oh, a couple things not yet we're not ready for this did we ever tell you at christmas time some of the disasters we made with our ornaments our ornaments were tricky this year weren't they no, we, it takes, no. A, you know, to get into the groove. It took us a bit to get into, we remember what the heck we did last year. And so, uh, <laughs> this is the original prototype that Landon um, did for us. There's nothing wrong with them. Go show them up close. They're like hockey pucks. They're huge. I held them in my hand. And I was like, this is not what we did last year. This is like so heavy. Prototype A. <laughs> Turn this it to is... its side. They say, oh, show, chicken, show how chick it is. <laughs> <laughs> And then this is prototype B. Uh, and then we were like, let's try to do the ever popular buffalo plaid in vintage, but just did not mod podge properly. And no. so this is the pr original, the actual size. So that's, you so know, let me just comparison. hold up one of those compared to that. <laughs> I mean, it worked, but. But look at how ugly those are. Unfortunately, we did not end up selling those because I was like, I, they're both different. Hey, you show. know what? I'm sitting here looking at them and I absolutely love them you want them i'll send them to you I live leave with a you. comment leave a comment below oh i I'll see send them to you no yeah. charge at all i'll send you all four of those prototypes you want them you got them um okay so one thing that i got into this holiday season <laughs> i hate to show you these because they're not done yet and uh La unlike landon who's like i mean i can carve a great spoon granted Carved a great spoon. You did. You did a great, great job. Like, this is a real professional job, I think. Pro job. Pro job. Yeah. Uh, did it myself. But he, like, picks up leather work, and he's just like, look at this great stitching I did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fun. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for you to show them your <laughs> yeah, 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 adventure. Exactly you are. 
Look, I, I really like them. So, okay, wait. I learned some new tools. So Landon's obviously known a lot more about um, projects and things before me. I've done like lots of painting with my dad, but I haven't done a lot. Rennie. Of... Rennie. Hey. hey. Uh, but my dad, like I went and tackled when we first met, actually, I was taking all my basement by myself doing home renos. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should show a picture here of that completed project. I'll do that here. Wait. Uh, the house is no longer here. How did she do that? <laughs> Doo -doo. <laughs> Uh, it's no longer mine. Yours. I sold it. That's okay. Uh, someone's got the highest bidder. Yeah. Great bidder. Thank you. It was a good price. Um, what? You're distracting me. Okay, my dad. I was like, Dad, I want to refinish my basement. And he's like, okay, cool. You need a tool, though. Let me give you a tool. He sent me with one tool. One. You know what it was? It was like a little uh, pry thingy. Baseboard remover pry yeah. thingy. That was his tool. They sent me to do the entire basement. So needless to say, it didn't get me too far, but Landon came along shortly after that and helped me do the last finishing stages, which thank goodness, um, I probably would have had to borrow some sort of cutting tool or get someone to pre-cut my baseboards, but he did it for me, so that was awesome. I was going to show you one, but I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. So he taught me. So with this next project, I did it all myself, pretty much. Like you helped with the measurements and that sort of thing, yeah. but then showed me how to do all the cuts. Yep. Um, but I learned the... Shape or origin? No. You use oh you she used the router actually just a router. The router. Yeah. yeah to cut yeah. out like little rivets. So I got into I want to get into pouring resin. Pouring resin, sparkly resin, and I had an idea of like old barn wood with um, like sparkle rivers running through it, and so we used the router. The router that Landon showed me to use very safely because it is a very nervous. Um, it's a wild tool. It's a wild tool. I told her a story. Can I tell them the story? Please. I'll wait till you're done. No, you tell the story. I was in junior high, oh. and I took shop class in junior high, and it came down to using a router, and I was too scared of it, and I refused. I may have cried. I don't remember clearly. He but clearly I remembers. You clearly remember. Like... Didn't use the router, but maybe that's why I like hand tools so much. But I'm no longer afraid of it. So anyways, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. But you know what? He like shows me how to use this tool. And I was like, it doesn't seem that dangerous. It seems like pretty cool. And so because I used the handheld version of it. And like I didn't feel unsafe at all during the process. And they told me that story. And I was like, you're a baby. That wasn't scary at all. Um, but then we used it again later on for these picture frames so the yep. art can fit in it. And I was terrified. I was like, because it was up high. Well, I used a router table then. We flipped it and we used it in the table. Yeah, and it was too, like, too high for me. And it just like, at the end, it would like flip it out. And I was like, I can see how you lose a finger here. Yeah. So. You'll see the router table in the arcade video, actually. We used it there too. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. We, as in hey. Um, okay, so anyway, pouring resin. So I had this great idea. And then um, we built these frames to go around it, which I think we're going to get into some custom framing. Um, they'll look probably more finished than these guys. This is just kind of like we threw them on because I don't love it that much, but I will show you them now. I know, much anticipated. But keep in mind, I've never poured resin in my life and I used old barn wood. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, but we gotta there. show them um, my idea now going forward. So another thing we're gonna get into in the new year, put it down, thank you, is um, framed art, but it'll be uh, what I want to call sort of restored wood or, or rescued wood, I want to say. So we're big believers in reusing kind of everything you have. We've got a big pile of wood here scrap and we're, wood, scrap yeah. wood. We're always going to that pile first for a project because if there's something that's usable, we're going to try to use it because we don't like things to go to waste. So um, that's kind of what we want to do here. But what we would like to do is frame it in these beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. I'll get better at the resin pouring. Probably going to lose the worm effect here because that's what ended up happening. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna jump up. Ah! Uh, and probably do like uh, either like mountain trees, bears, um, that sort of thing poured or also laid on top kind of to match the outside. But uh, they're gonna be really beautiful. So my idea to save these pictures because the thing I hate about them is the worm effect. And that's because we used the router. I would have used a smaller bit next time to make it more rivery and not so like wormy. Uh, so in these sections that I don't like, we're going to cut out with our shaper origin um, using this sort of same wood and uh, base color. It's the espresso stain and cut out birds. So like a bird will be here. How does this one go? A bird will go. Can you move that one closer? 
Okay, so I feel like it goes like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So it'll be like, bird, bird, and then bird to cover the top. <laughs> so <laughs> there'll be like an outline out. shadow of a bird flying, and then hopefully that'll look cooler, and then you'll just see the parts that I like about it. Because I don't mind like the long lines. And again, it's my first resin pour. Let's show them the nice one up close. Yeah. <laughs> here, let me put these here. So anyway, it's not that bad. It was my first time using it. It was quite messy. I used a really big cup for the pour, and I think a more controlled pour would have been better, but yep. I got better cups and... Better cups and a little bit of experience. And a little bit of experience now that I have. Yep. And YouTube. That's what he did for his leather work, and he was way better. So I think that's a successful the thing. The old saddle stitch. The old saddle stitch, you say. Right. What else did we do? Uh, lots of uh, eating. cooking, eating. Yeah, probably the same as most. Oh, these little things. Oh, yeah. We had an idea, a bad idea, now that I've done it. But um, might be a fun hey. little gift for, like, friends or family. But when we were, he taught me how to use the, I think, I feel like that's what we did a lot this time, is you taught me how to use things. Uh, tell us about yeah. this. This is <laughs> my dad's 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 plane. And it's uh, one of the many th tools in the shop that I got from my dad and uh, from his grandpa great great grandpa dad. yeah no from his grandpa my great great grandpa and anyways it's a lot of fun and it's really neat that's why you buy quality tools you can pass them down this thing is 100 years old or something and it still works like a hot dam i thought you were gonna like do a demonstration like <sighs> Um, so anyway, as these Utah. shavings were coming, they were rolling around everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, that'd be really cool and witchy and hippy dippy is if we took these little things, made little scrolls out of them. T you could use your leather work and we could make a little leather satchel and we could engrave in the leather satchel and be like premonitions. And then inside is a fortune. And then they reach them out and they unroll the little wood piece and they say, oh, this is my fortune. And then they burn it for it to come. Tr I went a little crazy. Anyway, so I it left. wasn't a horrible idea. It was kind of neat. It was a neat idea, but then look at what's happening is they break. But this one is so cute. See, this is I threw them all away except for two. So this one says, "You are brave." Oh, that's cute. That's a great message. I wrote these for myself. And then this one says, "Rest." What a great message. But see, they break so easy. That's that's where we. But I mean, this wood too is this this wood was taken off of a pasture pasture fence pasture fence pasture pasture. Uh, by Edmonton years ago, and it's it too is probably 70 years old, you know. So, no, what? Wow, well, it might not be that old. 70 years old, did you say? I did, but that might be a bit extreme. Let's don't, you wanna, it. don't you want to do something with this? You do. Gosh, do you have any great ideas? If you like my scroll idea, if you'd buy a set of scroll fortunes that you throw into the fire for it to come true, poof, poof, let me know. Am I the only one that thinks that's cute? I think so. it's neat. Should I we think show them that idea. wood for the wine stand? We're going to build two of them as we build one. We've got a custom order for one, and we've got enough to build a second one. Uh, so again, we're just kind of starting to collect things and make things and build things so that we can have an online store. Uh, the beautifulbearded.com will be the website, but unfortunately, we are <laughs> very behind on everything because we've just been messing around playing with spoons and leather. Yep. Are you going to bring that board over? Or are you going to? Yeah. Which board do you want? The big one. The big uh, no, the cedar one, the one that we got for oh, Jocelyn. Sure. Look at that. So that's going to make a really cool wine stand. Um, it's going to have a cool back, like a zoom back, and then a shelf. Enough to hold maybe like five balls of wine just standing on top, and then underneath will be a little bit of metal work, and you can hold a couple glasses. And that's that. So those are our custom orders. We got the salt and pepper shaker, the thingamabob we can't tell you about that. And we got a lot of stuff we just, we just got to start building. If you got any ideas for us as to things you'd like to see, custom orders. Let us know. We're ha we, we'd love to. Help you out. Oh, how are our microphones? But I hope they're good. <laughs> Check one, two. Check one, two. I feel like I've been like, la, 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 hit it all. Yeah, we may yeah, have hit, hit it, it more than one time. Just hit it there. I feel like the professional videos, they have like a person behind listening. Like, Oops, I probably oh, did. Sounds too. good. Sorry. Sounds great. <sighs> do you do? Anyways, we babbled on for more than half an hour at this point. It's probably going to be trimmed down to about three minutes. But no, it's I not. hope you enjoyed it. We're going to use this video. You're going to love it. It's all about. <laughs> What's, uh, what's uh, Joe Rogan say? Content is Long king. Long format. 
long we're format. We're working our way up to two and three hour YouTube videos. So. <laughs> Could you imagine? People would be like, us. cut! There'd be like that pole that's like, get out of here. The hook. Yeah, and then yeah. someone would come with a kick. Whoa. Yeah. And I'd be like, Ooh. Now they can see my shop shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, that's that. Next week, hopefully, in Arcade Cabinet. We'll see how long it takes me to edit. If not, maybe you'll see the pretty. We're going to show you the spoons again. These, and maybe, maybe art. Christmas ornaments one last time. <laughs> hey, actually, we can show them the desk that we kind of refinished for you. or rebuilt the top. studio space. Again. Oh, yeah, well, not the whole it. space. We're not going to have that done. But yeah. no, we will not. But uh, maybe the desk again. Maybe the week after. Thanks to Stu. We promise. All right. Right? Thanks to Stu. Okay. I don't like to start this, uh, this in extra because it's... Listen, no. do, are you listening to me? I always listen to Say you. Say thanks to Stu. Thank you, Stu. That's our neighbor in Belfer, BC. Yeah. And we'll one day maybe do a video from out there. That'd be really cool. We'll have they haven't to. seen it yet. We'll have to. Yeah. Anyways, until next time, stay bearded. Stay beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.